today I am showing you how to make a freeze frame photo change that looks um, super clean and I wanted to make it even more interesting so I included my new editing pack flash cut and basically created a few seconds edit. Okay let's go! Start by picking the moment you want to freeze. I'm using the watch scene for this example. Once you got that frame, add frame hold. Now create a mask real quick and click on invert it. That way only the area outside the mask stays visible. Now underneath the mask clip we are going to add some images. Grab 5 images. This can be screenshots from your video and place them directly underneath the mask clip. Make each one 3 frames long. This creates a super fast flash sequence which we all love. Go in between two clips, create an adjustment layer and place it right over the cut. Make it 2 frames above the first clip and 2 frames above the second one. Apply brightness and contrast. Then apply blur. Keyframe it at the start and at the end to 0. Then in the middle increase the settings. Brightness and contrast gives us quick flash and blur is making the transition feel more smoother. This is optional but it looks great. Um, you can turn your photos and footage to black and white. I really like it this way so I'm going to leave it like that. Nest all of them and apply radial blur on the nest sequence. Then apply lens distortion. At the start leave it to 0 but at the end change it to minus 50. I also added noise on the adjustment layer and I added glow edges. These are my settings, you can just pause this video and copy it if you have the plugin. If you don't, I'll, I have a tutorial I did a few months ago on my Instagram. I'll just put the link in the description so you don't have to search for it. It's basically how you can achieve similar effect without the plugin. And I have some overlays here as well, so scratches overlay throughout the whole video. And then I have these two as a transition to the effect we just did. And to complete the effect, I'm going to use my new editing pack flash cut. I'll just pick one and place it right here. And then all I'm going to do is replace the images by a simple drag and drop method. It took me less than a minute and I got this effect. I mean, it's insane. This is the craziest editing pack that is made for everyone who likes hypnotic fast effects. I'll put a link in the description if you want to learn more about it and download it. And yeah, that's all for me today. Hope you learned something new and got inspired by this quick edit. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe because I post this type of tutorials every week. Check out my website if you're looking for high quality, easy to use editing assets and I'll see you in the next one.